Alright guys, welcome back to more PES 5 Master League. We are here at Anfield for the game against We United. Look at that, yeah, another um, game where there's like nobody there in the crowd because that's great. Must be the away end. <laughs> Kidding. But um, today, yeah, very weird team we've put out today, you might agree. Um, we're doing this sort of whole rotation thing early on where it's like weak, weaker team, stronger team, weaker team, stronger team. Something that we do in preparation for the cup games. Thing was, right, we were still in debates about the, the formation and whatnot. And as you can see there, Babel is starting this game alongside Rooney. And now you're probably thinking, why are you doing that when you've got the likes of, you know, Ronaldo's on red hot form just lately? I mean, what? I still can't explain what he did in the last game <laughs> because it was that good. Um, and it's like, yeah, we, the thing was, right, we, we did 4 3 3, and it just, again, it felt overpowered. And obviously, I like to have your guys' inputs and feedback into that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, t today um, we have changed it up uh, for that simple sort of reason. Because um, it just, again, it just feels like it's becoming a little bit too overpowered yet again. Oh, that's. Did he? No, he didn't pick that up. <laughs> he didn't, it looked like he was going to pick it up, but the net was in the way. We're going to leave the 4 3 3, and what we're going to do is actually go back to um, the old sort of formation. And it's. Oh my gosh, you know what? Babel should have just gone for it himself. Why didn't he do that? I miss. Because the thing is, one of the one of the things I was thinking about is why don't we do like a. Um, and I did this on FIFA 17, believe it or not. <laughs> I know it's FIFA, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I do play FIFA too. But um, I did the, like this 4-2-4 um, formation. I was thinking that might be actually pretty good to try. Um, but then I was like, mm, no, I'm not going to bother with it. Uh, for the simple reason that it's a dodgy formation in a way. Like, it's very offensive formation, but it's a bit weird. Uh, Maldini's not playing this game, by the way, if anybody's wondering. And here's Babel. Oh, it's a good save, that one. We United are not a pushover team. We, um, I think, was it back end of last season, we got like this nil-nil draw to them, so that wasn't very good. But, yeah, we're kind of like going back to the old kind of formation today, taking a rest. It's like this debate as well with uh, Mutu. It's like, he is he like a part of the weaker side of the squad now? You know what I mean? That it feels like he is. I mean, he's not scored a Premier League goal this season. He had two games. He'd missed the last one, to be fair. Um, and here's Babel. It's Babel. It's Babel! Oh, it's 1-0. I keep thinking Babel's like the, the, the new star of this team. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, we had like Ronaldinho like a few weeks back who just joined back up with us and he was looking amazing and stuff in the 4-3-3 and whatnot. But then if we go back to this formation, then it just means that like Ronaldinho's not going to get that game time anymore. Although, granted, he um, has taken a wage cut, so it's not too much of a big deal if he's not like earning as much but not playing, so it's not too bad. Um, we had suggestions that we should change the... the formation around different competitions we should try something different maybe that could be something um but the thing is though i, I figured like you know when i if i do 442 i kind of like to play um like have a have a defensive midfielder if defensive midfielder is something like i almost swear by to be honest like no matter what formation i pick i always want a defensive midfielder in there because i just sort of think like it's almost essential and that was really that was a pretty good attack we had going there until it was ruined <laughs> um so is that so some players will miss out on playing if we do do that um yeah, you know I mean, maybe we, maybe it'll be changed in the cup competitions. We had weeks to kind of think about all of this, and again, in good old Pez Five series fashion, <laughs> we we still are very indecisive because that's what we're about. That's what we like to do. We like to not make our mind up, change things all the time, um, buy players, swap players, sell players, etc. And that's what it's a, a series about <laughs> so yeah is Rooney is he no he's not they've got European football this season though uh, Champions League football for we United uh, this is game week four actually um, 
Yeah, game week four. Uh, uh, Joe Cole is playing, by the way. If I haven't men- I don't think I've mentioned anybody in the team apart from like Babel and Rooney <laughs> so far. Um, so yeah, we will find out who we are playing in the Champions League um, in a couple of game weeks' time. Here's Iniesta, who's playing AMF today. It's Iniesta. Oofed. It was real oofty, that one. It's going to be Babel. Oh, what a save. That should have been his second. Tens. This defender gets his shot away. It's too close to the keeper. I mean, to be unfair, his first goal today was too close to the keeper. Kind of. Eh. Uh, Woo. That was weird. Strange. It's a strange game so far. Babel's working out really well up front. I was very sceptical about putting him in the team, to be honest, today, because I knew... I know that he's played well since he's joined, but giving him a starting lineup in a game like this, like we United are not an easy team, so you can't take them lightly, not in my opinion anyway. Um, and that's why I was like, ooh, do we actually risk him today? I was going to put Mutu in, but that didn't happen. In fact, Mutu's, I think he's on the bench today. I think <laughs> he could be, he might not be. And that's Joe Cole. Yeah, Joe Cole's on the left. Schneider is on the right today. And Joe, oh, Joe Cole's like, dude, i got to have a crack at that. Yeah. It, 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 I remember Mutu scoring one of those sort of weird angle free kicks um, back in pre-season of season four, it was. And is this Babel? It is Babel. In fact... Babel's going to go for it himself, and he probably shouldn't have. Schneider was running in there, but he kind of... Oh, well, he got knocked down. <laughs> he got knocked down. I didn't even see that. Could have been a pen, that. Was that inside the box? I think it was. Rooney's trying to get in there to stop this. Oh, Rooney's done well here. He's got literally no support. Rooney's going to have to... I mean, he's doing his best. <laughs> he did well there, Rooney. He was trying to make something happen. Uh, he's going to pop this one in. That's going to not go to anyone there. We really should be two up by now. Here's Ramos trying to win the ball back. He does that. Ah, uh, Babel. Uh, tried to go past that man. He's not giving it up. Oh. Now, uh, yeah, Puyol is in the squad today. Mafio DMF checking goal, by the way. Yeah, no, no Maldini today. He's taking a rest. Company's going to be in there instead. He's played really well, though, Maldini, in those first couple of games. I was really impressed with him, so that's something for the future, definitely, there. Um, who else is in there? Uh, I think in Iniesta. That's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Here's Ramos. Yeah. No, no Gerard, no Ronaldo, no Torres. Players like that. We've played really well without them. Babel being the main man so far. Unlucky for him that he hasn't got two goals in this game. Uh, but I'm enjoying the way it's going. Very nicely done. Now, if you've got a good memory and you remember what I said in the last um, part, is that I... Oh! 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 Babel! No! Ah! Oh! Penalty! The bat up uh, what? Rooney's set for penalties today. Babel's got to take it. I'm sorry, Babel's just got to have that. That was that was his man. That was his. Rooney was set for penalties today, but I'm like, is that debate of like when the keeper's out in that sort of position? Do you take it round him? Do you just try to score? Probably should have just tried to net it before being clever. He gets the penalty anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But still. <laughs> but still, oh, Babel, I really want him to get the hat trick now today. That would be really good. That would be icing on the cake if he could do that. Um, as I was trying to say there, though, uh, let's let's try and concentrate actually first. Oh, this is bad. Oh, my gosh. Why didn't he go for the shot? They should have just shot there. That's going absolutely nowhere. And it's Joko here. Ah. Uh, 
can't make something happen and company in the right place at the right time yeah um, I was on about the Arsenal games so they're second in the league currently and they're playing bottom of the table Newcastle have not got a single point this season and guess what at half time Newcastle are winning that game <laughs> at 1-0 so yes is 1-0 at St James's Park second place Arsenal are um, are uh, in some bother so yeah I think it's down to Rubinho myself. Here's Babel. It's going to be Babel. Ah, it was on target. He's got so much confidence today. Um, oh, hello. It's Babel. It's Rooney. It's on a plate for Babel's hat trick. Oh, my gosh. I think that's like his sixth goal of the season in the league. Oh, my gosh. I think he's going to be starting to regularly play, you know. We've given him the number 49 still for a second consecutive season. <laughs> he really needs a lower number, doesn't he? I mean, to be honest, another sort of easy... Like, his first goal was sort of... The keeper didn't really try. The keeper didn't really try on this one, and the other one was a penalty. But you know what? He's there, and he's getting the goals. So that's all you can ask for him. I really miss... I think I was trying to explain earlier. I was really like... When I play a 4-4-2, I like to have a defensive midfield. But I also like to have attacking midfield. So then the other two players sort of go on the wing. Uh, but if I play like 4-3-3, I like to make sure there is a defensive midfield in there. Um, defensive midfielder, I should say. Because I just feel like it's necessary. Because you've got that like one extra man up front. So therefore you need to make sure that you are defensively sort of covered. So that defensive midfielder covers the back four. And just sort of goes side to side to help them out. Uh, company is going to get back up there. He is alright. Ooh. Oh, okay. That was the referee. I thought that was a Wii United player there. I was just like, w what are we doing there? <laughs> Ooh, that could be bad. Yeah, that's fine. Puyol's in control. Ah, uh, no. Maybe not there. Oofed. Oh, Iniesta. Go on, Iniesta. Just snap him. <laughs> well, not really. This cons. Here's Joe Cole coming down the side to try and help. But it's going to be gathered up by Czech very easily enough. No concerns there. And uh, Joe Cole is there. Here's Clichy. Two changes made. Joe Cole is actually going to come off. Um, and so is Rooney. Shimizu. Uh, Clichy there. Uh, Shimizu is on for Joe Cole. She's going to play down that left side. And Mutu is on for uh, Rooney. So can Mutu possibly get his first league goal this season? Babbles already got six. <laughs> The Babbles technically kind of played more game time, I believe. So there's a little bit of an unfair advantage. Ooh, and uh, Ramos is in there. Just about. We United, I have to say, that have not played particularly good today. It's been a dodgy game for them. Here's Schneider. It's coming over to Babble, who hits the bar. I don't believe it. Bar Babble. Should have been number four. What a player is turning out to be. It's incredible, this. It really is. There's just got to be something here. Oh, let's let that one go as Mafia. Just trying to work a bit of space, a bit of an angle there or something. I think, believe we've got the derby coming up um, against uh, Everton in the next one. So that's going to be interesting. Here's Shimizu. Shimizu's going to cross it in. Ooh. It's back out. Babbles getting back out. Look, he's not giving it up. He's just all over him today. It's like, he's like my favourite player now, I think. I think he's like... like he used to be Mutu. <laughs> now, Babbles my favourite player. 
You know what I mean? Babel, you know, at end of this season, come next season, could earn the number 10 shirt. We're going to be probably looking for a new number 10 shirt player. Mutu's got it for this season, but, you know, he could earn that by the end of it. It's Shimizu here, and, oh, Mutu didn't keep his run. Why would Mutu not keep his run, though? Oh, here's Ramos. Oh, he's done well. He's done well. Ah, just... Oh, hold on. There's a chance here. You know what? Mutu says forget it. Babel just hit it. <laughs> what You know what? You, you're you getting all the goals now. Get your confidence. So he was sort of, sort of... There was a little gap there where he was starting to make a run there, Mutu. But he just... I don't know, he's just seeming to stop a lot. He's not making the runs that he used to do anymore. Is it just me or what? It's been an interesting game. Uh, I, I, I didn't want that game to... I was really enjoying that game, to be honest. Uh, to be honest, going into this game, I was nervous because I thought we United have got a good team. Didn't play so good against them last season, from what I remember. Playing Babel... He plays good, but sometimes, you know, can you take a big gamble on a player like that? We did. It paid off. Well, 8.5 for the guy. And he, pro he probably should have had, at least about had four, but he'll be happy with the hat trick. Gets to take home the match ball. Uh, Rooney got a seven there. Um, yeah, he was all right, actually, uh, for the time he played. He was all right with that. Joe Cole played all right, I thought, and he has to have an eight. See, attacking midfield role, they always get high numbers, and that's what I'm sort of, in a way, like, we'll get him... Uh, you know, we're getting a lot of chances in the 4 3 3 and stuff like that, and we're getting really good results, but I missed that attacking attacking midfield play. And I think that was something that we were lacking in the was it the Rangers game in the first game of the season where we just sort of played a flat 4 4 2 kind of thing. And yeah, we won the game, but it was. Uh, it, it, there was something lacking there, and I think that's probably what it was. Um, we had Mafio back in DMF. The back four. Didn't have a whole lot to do. Company was really good. Um, Puyol was in the right place at the right time. Ramos was. Clichy was getting forward, losing the ball here and there, though. Yeah, I can't ask for much more than that. That was really good. Here's the results from week four of the Premier League. And as you can see, Arsenal lose against Newcastle, as predicted. You just knew it was going to happen. It's like, if it's real... I mean, in real life, stuff like this can happen. I get that. But it's just like... I just, it, I just had this feeling. I just knew that was going to happen. You know what I mean? It's like Arsenal being ruined away. I think it's something to do with, with um, Rubinho. Because Rubinho, when he was playing at Chelsea, he gets so many goals. And Chelsea were doing really well. Chelsea suddenly lost Rubinho halfway through last season because we bought him. And Chelsea started to perform worse. You know what I mean? That's how big an, an impact I think Rubinho actually has on a team. Um... Unless you've got him yourself. Um, you give him to Arsenal. Arsenal playing really well all of a sudden. But uh, not today. But they'll probably get back on track in the next game. Let's see, I suppose. But uh, yeah, Manchester United have won at home to uh, Wigan 3-1. Uh, West Brom and Fulham was 1-1. Uh, Middlesbrough and Spurs was 2-2. Blackburn won again. Just come back up. They've won against Bolton 3-1. So oh, that was both the promoted teams there. So Blackburn doing pretty well. Chelsea just the 1-1 at Rangers. And another draw there. There's been four draws today. And that's Everton and Aston Villa was 2-2. Let's see the table. That's how it looks. So uh, yeah, we're well, three points ahead of Arsenal. And can, the question is, can we maintain that for the rest of the season? We've got ourselves really far ahead um, so far. Um, it's looking good. Blackburn, and um, to be honest, though, even though Bolton lost today against Blackburn, Blackburn are on seven points, so Bolton are also on seven points. So both of the promoted teams are doing very well. Uh, Manchester United seem to be kind of back on track a bit there. Everton are down to six. Chelsea seventh. Moving down to the bottom, it's Fulham now who are uh, in dead last with just two points. Every team has finally got a point at least now. Um... So, yeah, Wigan are down to 15th, Aston Villa 14th. At this point in the season, doesn't really mean much, but it took Newcastle four games just to get their first win. So, that's not looking good for them. Spares are down to 12th, We United are down to 11th. Plenty of time to go, though. So, yeah, Babel is actually the top goal scorer in the league with six goals so far. <laughs> that is just insane right there um and that's just after four game weeks we're going into the fifth one here today the one that stands out to me there's we united and manchester united 
Ooh, uh, Chelsea are at home to Fulham there. Newcastle are at home to West Brom. We've got Aston Villa against Middlesbrough. We've got Spares against Blackburn. We've got um, Arsenal against Rangers. And that could be interesting. Uh, and Bolton um, looking to just keep their good sort of form going, really. You know, they, they, they lost the last one, but they're still up there they're against Wigan. For us, we're at... Um, Goodison for a derby game against Everton. Oh my, this is big. <laughs> this is a big one. This is what we kind of rested the players for today. So yeah, join us for that one next time, guys. Big derby coming up. Um, Babbles on fire, and your defence is terrified. And that was really bad of me to say that, wasn't it? Probably. Anyway, join us next time. Comment, rate, subscribe, and share as always. See you then. Take care.